Bob Writings Indicator is the proud sponsor of HRPreps.com. Visit us 24-7 online at www.writingsdecator.com. Hello, Herald Review Sports reporter Leroy Bridges out here at Tuscola High School, site of uh, some football practice going on today. The Warriors made state the past two seasons, looking to kind of continue that momentum while everybody in the Ocal waits for the smallest team in the conference to take a step back, stumble a little bit, but uh, do everything. Uh, senior TJ Onsa said there's no stumbling going on here. The beat is just kind of goes on for the Warriors. Onstott, a year after playing the entire season with the torn labrum, is back in full capacity. Uh, with the Warriors. He played through that injury last season, but was limited at linebacker. He's fully healthy now, and he's going to be doing a lot for the Warriors. He's obviously still uh, starting at middle linebacker for Tuscola. He's also going to be playing some offensive guard on a rebuilt offensive line, and he's also doing place kicking. Uh, he said he's ready for the challenge and, and all about doing everything he can for the team. I think what makes him special is, is uh, his heart, uh, his preparation, and uh, he's just the tenacity. Uh, he to he played all last year with a torn labrum, and anybody that's done that, most people don't get out of bed, much less play 14 football games. And there were times last year where he just could not quite function the way he had in the past, and it was very hard on him because he really feels a responsibility for his teammates to to get the job done. I knew it couldn't get any worse, and if it did get any worse, I knew it was going to get fixed at the end of the year. So just played with it. The one time that it popped out and it was bad was against Unity and kind of laid there and went out for a couple plays and came right back in, but it's, it's good now. So He's 100% healthy, okay. so he probably won't come off. Okay. We'll let him come off when he gets on the bus to go home. That's <laughs> going to be about it. Kind of a blast from the past offensively. Philip Meyer, the senior, is back under center uh, for Tuscola. He started his sophomore year, led Tuscola to a state title. He's kind of a dual threat quarterback. Uh, but maybe a little bit more passing this time around than two years ago before he was replaced by Judd Winkie under center. Uh, he played wide receiver last year, but like I said, maybe a little bit more passing this time around. He said the biggest difference between now and, and two years ago his, is his uh, throwing arm a lot stronger now that he's two years uh, matured in that position. We're just out here having fun, and you got to have, uh, have everyone else tag along so you guys can, so you can be good. And, I mean, it's just... We're just out here having fun. They don't see themselves as being special. They just think that they're 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 just one of the 13 seniors we got, and it's that leadership and that humbleness that makes them great leaders. Uh, now, when the whistle blows, you can believe that they're leaders. You know, uh, Philip Meyer has had a tremendous career here. Led us to the state championship as a sophomore. T.J. This will be his third year starting. He has a chance to set all the tackle records here. And believe me, there's some great tacklers go through here, so that pretty much says what it is. So uh, two great kids, and uh, they've led this team. They're our captains for this year, and I look for them to be great leaders. Everybody keeps wanting to compare us to everybody else, but I think we're going to be a team of our own. Mm -hmm. A lot of different, different looks we're going to throw at people, and a lot of linemen moving around, different, diff doing different things, so I think we'll be a We'll be surprised on some people. One of the keys here for Tuscola, the rebuilt lines, both defense and offensive lines. Uh, Coach Reinhardt, who is back again for Tuscola, he had some thoughts in the offseason of le leaving, going back to Bethalto Civic Memorial, but decided to stay. He's not too worried about rebuilding those lines. That was kind of a situation he inherited during his first season here at Tuscola uh, when he came back, and there, wasn't, there weren't any issues. So he's ready for his guys to come out week one against Clinton again with what should be a very talented and quick uh, Tuscola team. Make sure you check back with hrpreps.com for full coverage of football season. Four, get flat! Four, flat! See the difference? Yeah. See the difference? You got flat, there you are. We're looking forward to the season. You know, uh, people, uh, you know, people are kind of wondering what's going to happen to Tuscola. And, and uh, we've got some great senior leadership, so uh, we feel good about the season. And we like it when people come after us because, you know, that's what we are.